Hey there fellow survivors, do you happen to be lost in Muldra with no clue on where to base and are wandering around aimlessly in hopes of finding a perfect base? Relax, don't panic, because as you have guessed by the title, we'll be looking at over the top 10 base locations within Muldra. Before we get right into the video, we will be rating every building based on their defendability, which will consist of entry points and how easy it is to go off, and the general convenience of the area, how spacious it is, and of course, the most important of all things in life, the looks. Also, all the locations shown here will be listed down in the description using Project Zomboid Map Project website. Now without further ado, let's begin! So ranking 10th on our list will be the abandoned factories located in the boundaries of both Dixie and Muldra. Now, you might be wondering, why is this place? Well, first of all, this place is abandoned, so there is an extreme lack of zeds. You should be only expecting to find one or two in the normal population settings. Although, everything is far away, which isn't a problem a car cannot fix. Everything is within at least 3-5 minute drive in real time. Although, if you're traveling on foot, Good luck, my dude. Overall, not the worst place to live in. I will give this place 5 stars for defendability due to the lack of zeds, 0 stars for convenience, 5 stars for spaciousness, and 2.5 stars for looks, as this place is run down. Now for the 9th on our list would be the relay station on the outskirts of McCoy Logging Company. The lack of zeds meaning that yes, you starter welly players can live here with no fear and be self-sufficient with trapping and farming. A simple wall and a gate is enough to wall of this place. Now, I don't know about you, but the cell tower it has adds a whole nother level of looks to this place. The downside though, is there a lack of zeds within the boundaries of this place. Yeah, although the woodland facing the direction of Muldra and the road to the relay station is quite infested. So be ready for a fight. Still, it's a rather cozy location to say the least. I'll be giving this place 5 stars for defendability due to the lack of zeds and it being very easy to wall off. 2.5 stars for convenience, 2.5 stars on spaciousness, and 4.5 on looks. Now a classic for all of you guys. 8th on our list we have the rusty rifle. Better you just had it for a drink or staying here for one night, nothing can go wrong other than a hangover and a few bar fights. Jokes aside, this place absolutely rocks. The rustic vibe gives this place a plus one to its looks. The rooms, while being questionable and definitely being ridden with bedbugs and cockroaches, are able to be completely removed by use of a sledgehammer, and then you can expand and reveal the true potential of the rusty rifle. Try not to drink too much whilst using medication though, okay? Anyway, with all that stuff about OD out of the way, I'm now going to give this place 2 stars for its defendability, due to there being some zeds around the general area, making it possibly a hassle to wall off. 4 stars for convenience, since everything is a short walk away. 3.5 stars for spaciousness, for all the potential of the first and second floors. And also, 3.5 stars for looks. Okay, now all of you will just see this sign at the entrance and just take it, but you know, don't miss out on the opportunity to actually base here. Seventh on our list, we have the Holy Grace Church. Now, upon entering, you might get a shock. Although, do not worry, as all of that can be fixed in a bit. Okay, there we go, all better. Now, you might be wondering, why is this base? It seems empty and is only full to the brim with pews and seemingly random furniture placements. Well, first of all, you can disassemble pews. And if you don't know already, pews give roughly a 5 times the XP due to them being 5 tiles long. That's bigger than a king size bed in this game. Pair that with some carpentry skill books and you are already leveling up your carpentry levels. Home depoting out of the way, this place really has a whole lot of potential. Board up the windows, slap a few crates, and bam, you have possibly one of the most perfect base locations. Not to mention the house next door may contain some loot, with an extremely short wall distance. Just be sure not to welcome also and holy undead ghouls into this place of God. Okay, so for his final rating, I'll give this place 2 stars for defendability. Cause there's lots of zeds nearby. 
four stars for convenience because there's a mini mall and other commercial buildings nearby, 3.5 stars for spaciousness and 5 stars for looks. Now I don't know about you, but antique ovens rock. And that's why for number 6 on our list, we have the McCoy Lumber Mill. Enough wood here to last your antique oven for days on end. You might be saying to yourself, but door is your shredder. Why? Well, for starters, this place is easy to wall off. You have plenty of outdoor space and lots of free storage for your log, of course. Now, the main downside to this area would be the zeds on the roads that lead to McCoy. But other than that, I feel like this place is near perfection. But really, it's not quite there yet. It's still a very nice place to live in. Anyway, I'll give this place 4 stars for definability, as it's rather easy to wall off. 3 stars for convenience, Zeds will be slowing you down and it's a bit far away from any main loot areas. 3.5 stars for spaciousness and 5 stars for looks. Now finally at the halfway mark, we are now at Smoky Saloon. This one absolute beast of a place is just such a why. It's rustic and old western theme. This place also happens to have two stories, which most buildings within Woldra don't really have. And oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, for all of you patriots, this place also happens to rock an American flag. Patriotism aside, this place is extremely defendable. There are free entrances alongside the windows on the second floor. And oh yeah, you will most likely not be running out of alcohol anytime soon either. Expansion is always possible on the second floors, as you can just, you know, sledge a wall down and bam, now you have like twice the space. Anyway, I'll give this place 3 stars for defendability, 4 stars for convenience, 4 for spaciousness, and 5 on looks. Now, whether you're a homeless meth addict living here or are actually using this place for storing goods, next up on our list is a you store it self-storage. This place can contain decent loot spots, such as extremely heavy sports equipment, and getting those extreme gains and not skipping the day aside, the gas station, church, and the hotel are a short walk away from your doorstep. You really cannot go wrong here. It's a literal cardboard box as galore here. So you should stop here at least once in your playthrough if you base in Moldra to get that sweet extra free storage. Or you know, live here as the title suggests. So anyway, I'll give this place 5 stars for defendability since it's already walled off, 4 stars for convenience, 4 stars on spaciousness, and 2.5 stars on looks. Now at the first place, we finally have, as well guessed it, the large gated community. While this place may seem like a crap suburban neighborhood, do not worry. With this location, you are certain to find a generator in many sheds surrounding this area. And oh yeah, the clinic and the convenience store are a short walk away, so that's always a plus. While this place has four entrances, one that's from the woods and the others from the roads, you can always barricade this off with the perfect barricade. Just make sure to build at least one gate somewhere so you have access to move your cars in and out. Why I love this place so much, you may be asking. Well, it is basically Alexandria reincarnate. But, well, it is in single player, so you're all alone. Okay, so with depression out of the way, I forgot to mention that there's a lake nearby for your fishing needs. Just, you know, make sure to clear out the area beforehand, okay? Anyway, I'll give this place 5 star for defendability since it can be walled off with perfect barricade very easily, 3.5 stars for convenience, 5 on spaciousness, and 4 on looks. Now for the second spot on the list, we have arrived at this absolutely fresh and isolated home between Moldra and Dixie. Now this place may not be the most convenient, nor is the prettiest, but it has two very good things to offer to you and that's bountiful amount of safety and weapons. Yes, you heard that right, weapons. Ranging from all sorts of melee weapons to guns, including the lethal beauty that is M16. Though coming across that of all things will be as rare as finding picture of Kate. So I won't rely on this place too much when it comes to finding guns like M16. But really, if all you just want is safe and quiet place to settle down in, this base location is just right for you. I will be giving this base 
5 stars for defendability, 2 stars for convenience, 3.5 stars for spaciousness, and 3 for looks. Now finally, we are number 1 on the list. This, in my opinion, is possibly the best base location in Muldra overall. This location being Gen Factco Warehouse at edge of town near Smoky Saloon we mentioned earlier. This place has everything a man could ask for other than a damn bed. But really, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make, if it means I get all the tools in the world just at my fingertips. Alongside some batshit insane amount of storage, as this place offers to you all for free. And oh, don't even have me start on being able to just set up a roof farm right away with ease. And oh yeah, you can also park your car inside. Yet another convenience this building brings to the table. Absolute shocker, am I right? But most importantly, let's talk about the defendability of the place. Okay, so really, this place has one card up its sleeve, and that's that it's on edge of town. There's not a lot of zombies, and the few remaining ones that are nearby, they will be seeing all the tools you found laying around the warehouse coming towards their face sooner or later. So, that really won't be an issue. Other than that, this place is very much safe. If you still feel iffy about it though, feel free to just build a wall or, oh I don't know, something like the perfect barricade. Now that that's done, before I end this video, I want to thank my friend Vakorax for being of major help with this video. Feel free to give him a sub on the way out. With that out of the way, I think this is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if so, I will be very thankful if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, ladies and gents, it's time for me to say goodbye. I wish you all a great day.